The harvest is great, but there are very few workers to work in the harvest. The Gospel reading for today narrates to us the call of 72 other disciples. 12 times 6 equals 72. Aside from the 12 apostles, the Lord Jesus invited 72 others to help him in spreading the good news in proclaiming the gospel. The gospel reading for today contains some specific or particular instructions from the Lord as to how the disciples would do their mission. That is why a closer look at the gospel reading will reveal that it is like the Lord giving a mission orientation. He is like giving a conference. He is like giving a lecture to the disciples as to what they should expect, as to how they should behave when they go to their missionary appointments. My dear brothers and sisters, today, we celebrate the memory of two of the disciples of the Lord who are actually disciples of St. Paul. Yesterday, we celebrated the feast of the conversion of St. Paul from being a persecutor of Christ to becoming an ardent supporter, an ardent proclaimer of the gospel. Today, we celebrate the memory of two of the lieutenants of Paul, Timothy and Titus, assistants of Paul, friends of Paul, associates of Paul. St. Paul wrote two letters to Timothy and he also wrote one letter to Titus. These two men were close collaborators of St. Paul. They were Paul's close friends. Let me say a few little things about each of one of them. Let me say something first about Timothy. I will introduce Timothy to you so that you will get to know him better. And then I will also talk about Titus. Timothy. He was Paul's inseparable companion. Timothy became bishop of Ephesus. Timothy had a Greek father and a Jewish mother. The name of the mother of Timothy is Eunice, mentioned in the first reading today. We do not know the name of the father, but Timothy was a product of what we call mixed marriage. A Greek father and a Jewish mother. That is why the Jews considered Timothy illegitimate. Timothy was not a Christian at birth. His grandmother, Louise, was the first to become a Christian in the family. And around the year 47 AD, Paul converted Timothy to Christianity. And later on, Timothy joined Paul in his missionary journeys. Paul and Timothy worked closely together for more than 15 years. Timothy became one of Paul's most faithful and trusted associates. It is, however, interesting to note the personality of Timothy because there are indications in the Bible that Timothy was a very timid person. That is why Paul told Timothy once, Timothy, stop drinking water only. Drink some wine because wine will be good for your stomach. You are always sick because you do not drink wine. Moderate drinking is necessary. That is the advice of Paul to Timothy. Timothy initially was a man who was lacking in courage. He was a man lacking in boldness, a man lacking in determination, a man lacking in confidence. It was Paul who was able to convince Timothy to improve his personality. Let me say something about Titus. Titus was an organizer, a very good administrator, 
an organizer for Paul. He became bishop of Crete. Titus and Paul were also close associates and they were very close friends. And Titus holds the distinction of being Paul's fellow missionary. Titus was a peacemaker. He was a competent administrator. As a matter of fact, Paul's second letter to the Corinthians gives us an insight into the depth of his friendship with Titus. My dear brothers and sisters, these three men, Paul, Timothy, and Titus, give us a glimpse in the early life of the church. They had great enthusiasm and vigor in the ministry. They had great zeal for the apostolate. They were always in communion with the teachings of Christ. And they also treasured their friendship with Christ and with one another. As we celebrate the memory of these two men today, together with St. Paul, I am reminded of what I read that was said by Ralph Waldo Emerson. I quote Ralph Waldo Emerson who said, We take care of our health, we lay up money, we make our room tight, we make our clothing sufficient, but who provides wisely that he shall not be wanting in the best property of all. And what is the best property of all? Friends.